There's never been a better time to have Sirius XM. With over 140 channels in your vehicle, your all-access trial includes more than ever before to enjoy online, on your phone, or at home. Create your own ad-free personalized stations powered by Pandora. Hear ad-free extra channels and enjoy favorite shows with Sirius XM Video On Demand. What you love is on now. For 35 years, yes, 35 years, Boss Audio has been keeping the tunes cranking and providing tremendous value to audio enthusiasts everywhere. Today, we get a chance to go through the entire Boss Marine line, which is no slouch. Be careful, folks. We have a lot to cover because we're welcome. Their VP of Sales, Doug Kern, who will be joining us today. Hey, this is CMA Connected, presented by SiriusXM. Boss Marine Audio starts now. Welcome back to another CMA Connected one-on-one -on -one with the brand. I'm your host, Ben Wu, and today's brand du jour is Boss Audio in the Marine category. Yes, Boss makes a ton of product, everything from car audio to power sports. Today, we're going to be definitely focusing on the Marine offering, which they have been a player in that category for quite some time. Now, I did mention 35 years. I mean, that makes them, in my opinion, books OG in the category and OG in the industry. So very, very cool. Congrats to Boss on that. Um, we'll be also starting our show today, of course, with their Canadian distributor representing Gemsend Distribution, our good friend, Dave Singh. Well, hello, Mr. Dave. Hey, Ben. Good to see you. Happy 2022. 2022. We're back in the ring again. I'm happy to have you uh, co-pilot this with us, of course. And, you know, Boss is one of those brands which has literally been in the fabric, right, since the get-go. Every one of us, you know, have, have crossed this brand at some point. And, and I want to highlight the partnership that you have with Boss because it's such a wide range of product that it represents. Well, thanks, Ben. Um, you know, we have had a, a relationship going back, uh, I, I'm going to say close to 10 years. And, you know, one thing that Boss has always done is, tried to push the envelope with uh, having a wide variety of product in different categories, whether it's marine, power sports, mobile, um, whatever it is, always attracting uh, that audience that is looking for, you know, uh, uh, valuable features, but without having to break the bank in order to be able to get them. And uh, the great thing about Boss, especially this year with the challenging times that we're dealing with is, you know, their inventory supply has been very consistent with minimal interruption, and that's been great and extremely helpful for our dealers that are looking for products so that they can finish full systems and not have that missing key piece, such as source units, for example. Well, I think you brought up a really good point. I was going to touch on that myself. And, you know, last year we did, uh, you know, some focus um, sessions on the Boss, um, Boss Elite source units, especially right. the full screens and the floating screens. And, uh, you know, I, I think I speak on behalf of many dealers where that product came to the rescue on, on many occasions. And I, you know, uh, congrats to Boss for coming up with such great value uh, products in that category, which honestly, I've had the chance to use and they, they're, they're fantastic. They certainly are. And, you know, as I mentioned, you know, they were at that price point category. Um, they got started as being a flea market brand. And I think, you know, maybe the mindset of everybody, including myself from 20, 30 years ago was, you know, um, flea market brand type of performance, but that's not the case. The, the boss mm. of 20, 30 years ago is not the same boss audio that we see today. And it's really exciting to be part of their team. Well, I think today might blow the minds of many people when we actually go through the um, the level of commitment that this brand has towards the marine category, of course. Uh, and that's what we're going to be focusing on. So on that note, we have a video queued up here. <laughs> this might blow your mind, guys. We are talking boss audio marine. We got a video to set the mood. Let's roll the tape.
I think that video definitely sets the mood and gives you an idea about what we're in for today as far as covering the different categories that Boss Marine offers. And, you know, I think I think there's those three points, but who am I to say? Why don't we bring on the expert, Dave, to, to teach us all about uh, Boss Audio in the Marine category. I'd like to welcome at this point our good pro, our good friend and pro. He's the VP of sales um, for Boss Audio. His name is Doug Kern. Hello, everyone. Nice hello, hello. You. How are you, Doug? Hey, Doug? Happy to have you today. Yeah. I hope you're happy with that intro we did, right? We set that up pretty good for you. It was great. I appreciate all <laughs> the nice compliments and uh, comments. Uh, it's great. Yeah, Boss has that, been through a lot in 35 yeah. years and um, gone through a lot of different phases. As Dave mentioned, some of them, you know, flea markets, pawn shops, what have you. But Boss has become you know, a major player in the whole industry, not just, I know today is about Boss Marines, but just overall as a, as a brand. And uh, in fact, Boss, according to MPD uh, reports for 2021, had the number one selling head unit in, wow. in the country, as far yeah. as a CarPlay Android Auto um, piece. And, and a lot of that was, you know, the situation, the pan pandemic, and we were able to deliver and we captured a whole new audience and an audience that wasn't maybe expecting the performance that the product gave them. And so, wow, this is for the price point. We specialize, we're an opening price point brand, a lot of features for the, for the dollars spent and it's come a long way. But uh, again, yeah. Mark Marine, you know, we started audio 35 years ago in 1987. And Boss Marine started about 30 years ago with a small mix wow. of a couple of Marine head units and, you know, very small. But now it's a pretty large line. Uh, we're going to fly through it with uh, we shortened the number of slides because there's over 120 SKUs in the Boss Marine line. And we'll shorten that up a little bit and go through and just touch a little bit on each portion in each category of Boss Marine. That's awesome. And, you know, Doug, I, just on your comment there, Boss has been through a lot of phases, and I believe we are going through the best phase so far um, from Boss, right? Oh, absolutely. Great. Absolutely. All right. So, uh, listen, Dave, you and I, we're going to get some learn on while we set uh, Doug up here. We've got a great presentation. I know <laughs> Doug just said 112 skills. I'm like, oh, my God, how are we going to go through that? I'm sure there's a plan in place. Let's find out. Let's dig in. Let's go ahead and get the presentation up and uh, learn all about Boss Audio Marine. So one thing we've done over the last couple of years is we really uh, changed the logo of our different categories. This is the logo for our Boss Marine. Um, and we've separated it from the car side of it. Mobile is more of a red logo. And then the Power Sports is more of a green logo. And you'll kind of see it in some of the packaging I have here. And but just it's on a shelf. These three categories together, you'll see that it's one brand but yet really hitting different categories of product. And going in, you know, we want to kind of highlight our, you know, brand newest product for Boss Marine, and that's offering CarPlay Android Auto in the Marine environment. And um, we've done that. It's all been IPX and, and coded and so forth, sealed. I have one of the models here. You'll see the chassis is very short. I can see that. Let's take a look at that. Got room here for installation, but all capacitive touchscreen, you know, shallow chassis. But anyways, and all, most of our head units, we bring in our marine head units, we bring in and have a special marine cover just to avoid a splash guard. So to speak, just kind of like the radar and well, all those. Hold types. on one second there, uh, Doug. Let's get a closer look at that, if you don't mind. Let's pull that up full screen. I want to see that cover. I think that's a cool selling point. Just there you go. Kind of rubber, just nice. go on after the boat ride. You want to hose down, uh, throw the thing on, and you got a nice mm -hmm. protective splash screen. And, and just the side view one more time to see the the depth is really it's more shallow than the typical uh, head unit. Mm -hmm. And then the back sides. Okay. Doug, is that chassis plastic? Pardon? Is the chassis made of plastic? It kind of looks like that in the pictures. No, no, it's metal. It is metal. 
Okay. So we have two models. One's a 6.75 uh, with completely all capacitive touch, and the other's a seven inch that's more, it's got some solid buttons and so forth, but feature wise, performance wise, pretty much the same. Uh, but again, we, you know, one thing Boss does, if we find something that works, we try another one, you know, a little bit bigger screen. Okay, some people prefer that. So we do have two models available in the line. Okay. And then going in, the a big category, which we're probably selling more than anything, are uh, the gauge uh, receivers and uh, source units. And we have several. I think we have a total of close to 10. And we start with a 5-inch uh, touchscreen model. We have a 3-inch touchscreen model. We have a 3-inch that has a TFT LCD color display. And these all just kind of different formats. And uh, most of these gauge radios that we have, they cross over to the power sports also. We have uh, special mounting kits for some of them, uh, for some of the side-by-sides. But as far as um, on the marine side, all these come with the rubber uh, splash guard cover. And again, just giving you a, an option of different um, price points and uh, features. So that's the top three right there. Then we have the next three, which is uh, a square gauge radio that all is features uh, AM, FM, a uh, weather band channel. Um, you know, again, all factory sealed. These are all IPX 6.7. So, you know, you can hose them down. They're not going to, you know, go bad or anything. Even you put them in and water comes up from uh, behind. They're all protected and watertight. So we've had real great success with that. So you have the MGR 450 and the MGR 350, basically the same unit, just one square, one's round. Both again have weather band. The MGR 300 is a little lesser unit in terms of features. It does not uh, include weather band channel, but it is AM, FM. And they all, again, all of them have Bluetooth uh, uh, wireless, uh, receiving and the nice thing about these radios as we go through them is you know all the different form factors because not every boat is the same you may not have the same type of real estate uh for for a radio versus you know uh, having to have a round gauge radio as opposed to an oversized face so it's great that boss offers a good selection to accommodate those different uh, applications okay and the next this is just two gauge source units no AM, FM, basically Bluetooth um, and USB and auxiliary input. We have a two-channel model and a four-channel model. So all this is is a simple gauge system. And again, this is an opening price point that someone that all they're going to do is, is stream their music from their phone uh, to, to the speakers, and that's it. So this is, you can add four speakers, four tower speakers to that MGR 250, and then you just stream with your phone and you got a perfect easy setup and install you know nice system to go and then a two speaker one the mgr 150. so again an option for just a budget-minded you know install simple don't need the cd don't need the dvd mechanism don't need am fm so forth but this again we give a lot of choices Especially if you're space conscious, this is like really compact and still get a tactile Absolutely. control. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then kind of going into some of the old, older units, uh, you know, just um, marine coated, marine marinized, the circuit boards, the chassis, uh, the UV coating on the face, uh, CD player. Um, again, CD for marine atmosphere as well as car is slowly going away um you know less and less people are playing cds but we still offer them we offer them in white and silver a couple different models um you know and you know that there's still some sales there but again most of it's it's going to that gauge side of it that higher end side of it uh and then uh, receivers without the mechanism which is next so in uh, receivers, mechless, 
We've got several different models here. We offer in white and black. We offer with detachable face or fixed face. That MR500 UAB up top is kind of a, a, it's a new model for us. And what we're transitioning to as we retool a lot of these models is bigger button for a little easier to reach and hit, you know, the, next, the, the preset station or the volume control or um, the, the uh, mode or whatever, a little easier to, to hit with the, with the bigger button. So that's, we're going to be making running changes on some of the other models too with that, that same format. Those bigger buttons are especially handy, especially when you're bouncing around on water, moving at high speed, you know, trying to get to that little button. It can be a, a pain in the in the neck for sure. That's great. Right. Absolutely. And that's what we found out. So we're it's uh, really taking over and kind of putting kind of killing the three models below it. But. Um, and, you know, what I like about that is it's really catered towards the marine environment. It's not, it's not just a car radio. You know what I mean? That's repainted with a little bit of protection. Like it's very, very centralized and focused on the user who, in the marine environment. I love the the call, the, you know, and those type of features are really big. And like Dave said, if you actually own a boat and you're actually going to put radio, yeah. I mean, yeah, there's times where you pull up into a cove and it's calm. But let's be honest, most of the time you're running and it's choppy and it's bumpy. And those tiny right. little buttons, yeah, they don't work. So very cool. And the other feature we've added to that, which is kind of nice, is a push to talk feature. So mm. uh, you push the the little button to the right of the volume control there and then you can call out hey siri um you know where's the closest starbucks on the water or whatever <laughs> it is but it's got that so it'll play that back for you so or jump to the next song or play whatever song and so forth so that's kind of been a real nice feature for us all right okay one thing that we sell a ton of is um, pre-packs, a source unit with a pair of speakers or with two pairs of speakers. We typically include the antenna, sometimes the auxiliary cable, sometimes a splash guard, uh, so forth. So we offer a lot of different packages. Again, these are two CD packages, a two speaker and a four speaker. Um, again, kind of on the downside of, you know, the sales because the mechless models are more taken over, but we offer two and four speaker in um, black or in white, as you see here, and then also in black, as you'll see on the next slide. Oh, well, that, that first slide was the CD. Here's the non-CD, the mechless models, in a two, a four speaker, a two speaker, and then we offer that MCK or that 500 with the bigger buttons with just a two speaker package. And we'll probably be adding a four speaker to that model too. Um, here's another unique uh, model. It's a package. It's a Bluetooth amplifier that just has a control unit that could be mounted in the dash of the boat. That uh, amplifier could be mounted underneath. And then you've got four speakers. Um, you can run front and rear on that. We also have a two speaker package uh, similar to this, uh, but this has been something again, that person, all they want to do is stream their music from their phone to, you know, the system comes with a nice little, uh, you know, waterproof phone bag that they can have. So, you know, just kind of an added benefit to this package. On the, we also do the packages with the gauge radios. And we offer both the square model uh, with in black speakers and with white speakers, and also the round model with the white speakers and black speakers. And you'll see we have just showing one picture of each, but we have line listed the other colors. So again, we give lots of choices, you know, black, white, four speaker, two speaker, you know, gives you a lot of options. Is there a savings, Doug, for the dealer when they've ordered them in in, in um, bundles like this? Yes, there is. Yeah, there's a little bit. There's a benefit in buying a package, buying, a, you know, this gauge radio with a pair of speakers rather than just the gauge radio by itself and then buying the speakers separately. Yeah, there's definitely a savings. You know, it's, uh, you know, maybe around 10% savings or so on average. And the other thing is sometimes you get 
uh, additional extras like a 3.5 cable or an antenna cable or you know a, a, a cover for the radio or something like I that. I saw a cover or, for the phone, a pouch for a waterproof pouch for the phone previously. There. Yeah. 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 So all of those are bonus uh, perks, I guess you could say. Okay. Then the other thing we we've done is you know that little source unit, just get unit amplifier. We package that with different sets of speakers. Uh, the first one there is with a pair of four inch um, uh, tower speakers. That's been a nice, simple, easy install to run the wires. And you got, you know, two tower speakers and this, and you got to come in with four speakers in the white and then two speakers in the white. So, you know, again, different options for this thing. This is, you know, we're selling tons of this to those that have pontoon boats and want something very simple, uh, but, you know, also the ski boats and, you know, all kinds. So we, again, it's just option after option of what we have. And we should point out that that four inch marine can is actually an amplified system. So, you know, don't even have oh. to wire up a separate amplifier, which is really cool. So just yeah. signal though, those aren't Bluetooth signal. Those are actually hardwire signal. Well, the, the actual gauge unit there is amplified and that's powering the two power, uh, the pods. Oh, okay. Uh, you'll see in the coming slides, we offer these, uh, tower speakers. By themselves in a passive uh, set or pre pre powered all built in amplifier active mm -hmm. you can just throw those up and not even have a source unit or a gauge or anything in the dash and stream your music to them oh as in bluetooth directly to the speakers without having a source unit in in the mix Correct. gotcha okay we have a line of amplifiers uh, marine amplifiers all ipx uh, six you know, sealed on the ends, everything. We offer a five channel model there. We offer a four channel model that also has a, a PA system output that you can, uh, you know, have an, a mic to call out to the skier, you're ready or something. We offer it in a regular four channel and we also offer it in a two channel. So the, the line of marine amplifiers have been around for uh, quite some time very successful. We're in the uh, middle of kind of redesigning them, uh, making them a little bit smaller, but with the same output power. And, you know, just because uh, boats and stuff, there's more limited space. That five channel is pretty big size. It's, you know, 18 inches or so. Um, you know, kind of hard to find a spot to put that sometimes now. It's got a little OG old school feel to that one, don't you think, Dave? Yeah. That five yeah. channel? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Those certainly. Are, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. And then getting into separate speakers. Uh, we offer a 10 inch uh, subwoofer. Uh, comes in white. Uh, they come with the LED lights, RGB, you know, multi. Uh, we offer um, six and a half inch uh, LED type speakers in black, uh, white, and silver. Uh, we offer a five inch uh, model in white and black that has the LED RGB lights. So, so been real popular as the LED light models. Um, here's the kind of the core of the speaker line, six by nine, six and a half and a five and a quarter. Those are the main sizes and we offer them in white and black. And we have a couple different looks to the speakers. This is one look. The next slide shows kind of a different, more of an older style look. But, you know, again, we seem to maybe overdo this, your selection that you, options that you have, but they're all selling. Are these the same speaker just with a different grill option? Yes, they are. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we have some cabinet speakers here. Um, you know, these are go on some of the larger boats, the deck boats and so forth. Uh, a lot of these are sold, uh, you know, just as patio speakers. Um, you know, Jemsons has sold hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these themselves. Um, not sure if they're all going on boats, but a real nice little cabinet speaker offered in black and white. A lot of people use them outdoor and their patios and decks. And, you know, the, the nice thing about all of this product that 
Doug has shown you is you don't have to drop a ton of coin, you know, in order to, uh, to, 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 to get these speakers. I mean, not everybody out there is looking to spend 500, 600, 700 dollars on a pair of six and a half. You know, my father-in-law with his, you know, 17 footer legend boat, you know, when his uh, speakers dry rot out, he's not looking that he didn't have that budget to do that. And these like, are great no, options for that. So he can put a radio and he can listen to when he goes out fishing that, you know, he's not that's looking it. for the boom, boom. He just needs some sound. It um, doesn't need to be the loudest on the lake. He just mm -hmm. is looking, you know, for something that he can listen to the radio with. So. And, and that goes back to the single din radios when we were looking at those earlier some people may look at them and say well that's kind of old school but there are so many older vessels out there that are still using single din radios and you know those radios are broken or you know technology is worn out maybe they don't have bluetooth or something like that so this is a perfect solution for those without having to cut or rejig or you know rebuild something to fit uh you know uh, one of the more modern radios into good point dave good point mm -hmm. Okay, and then going into the uh, tower speakers. Again, we have a lot of different sizes. We offer um, pretty much all sizes. We offer three ways. Just basic, no lights, no, no built-in amplifier. Then we offer uh, with, with LED lights. And then you'll see that's these two here, the four inch with and without uh, LED lights. And then here's the next size is up the five and a quarter the six and a half a six by nine we offer these with rgbs uh, with the lights and we also offer them without um, the led lights the six and a half we offer in white also uh, white's kind of gone away but uh, we got rid of all our white speakers but we're just now bringing them back uh, had some requests because the salt water uh, boats seem to still prefer the white color. Mm. It's the fresh water that we're finding. They like the darker, the black, you know, uh, tower speakers. I, I, it do, is there actually a market for tower speakers without LED? It just seems like every time I see a tower speaker, there's always lights on it. Yeah. You and think that's probably, you know, you'll probably see, we're seeing that, uh, Definitely, we're selling a lot more with lights than without because the price difference is not that much. That's what I mean. You know, you're talking yeah. a could be ten to twenty dollar difference in re, in a retail price for, and you're getting the lights. Mm -hmm. Seeing that everybody's wanting the lights. Um, I, I, you know, you know we're doing that. these marine sessions, Doug, and it's silly to say for some, but for marine audio enthusiasts, it's important. Like the lighting is an important aspect of the whole thing, right? The whole look. Oh yeah. yeah. So. Absolutely. It brings that party atmosphere more to the boat as a well, sunset comes in and so forth. And why would you want sound or improve sound on your boat if you're not having fun? I mean, yeah. nobody goes on a boat to be miserable. Exactly. <laughs> right? Yeah. So, all right. So, yeah. I mean, as you look at, here's the ones without lights. And mm -hmm. they just kind of, you know, kind of, mm -hmm. wow, that's a, down, a Debbie Downer right there. But, uh, you know, there's still, it's, you know, hits great price points. The sound quality is good. But again, we offer them in the different sizes and it's six by nine, six and a half, five and a quarter. Uh, the six and a half we offer in black and white still. So, hey, who are we to decide? The, mount, the mounting on these is all really nice mounting that swivel mounts. You know, they've got the dual uh, little mounting brackets uh, up to, I think it's, two and a half inch or maybe even up to three inch sound bars and, you know, down to one and a half. So it comes with all the mounting, you know, equipment and parts that you need, rubber filters and so forth. Okay. Well, on this note, I want to play a video because you mentioned at the top of the hour how some of these products can cross over beyond Marine, right, Doug? So we got a little video we're going to roll up and we're going to show you how crossover some of these products may be when you're thinking about, you know, inventorying uh, some of these products. Let's go ahead and, and roll that tape.
know, if you asked me 25 years ago, if I ever thought Boss Audio would have these cool lifestyle videos with the youth and motorsport, I'd be like, what? No way. And here we are. <laughs> and I, I wanted to play that because a lot of these, you know, products do represent cross-platform type customers. You know, just previous to this slide here, of course, I'm going to let you get into it, Doug, uh, about the sound bars. But, you know, those tower speakers, you know, golf carts, ATV, side-by-sides, like oh, this yeah. is all relevant customers for these type of products. So on that oh, note... Yeah. Um, yeah, and I put, you know, I, I added these uh, three out of 14 different models we have and of different size uh, and shapes of sound bars. I added these three because we are selling a lot to the uh, marine uh, industry. And they, you know, these are, if it's just the crossbar, the, the um, tower, uh, these do fit on those. And people are using them because then there's nothing to run to the dash at all. You just get these up there, get it to power. Power and ground. Everything's ground. built in right there. Uh, there's nothing else needed. Uh, so we are selling a lot of that to the marine industry, probably again, more to the off-road and the side-by-sides, uh, just, you know, taking off. We were one of the first uh, in the power sport um, business, you know, I think close to 10 years ago, we started uh, building a simple, you know, the round PVC type tube uh, ATV speaker. Oh, yeah, I remember those. Yeah. The front rack. We were one of the first with that, with that, and we've got several models of that now, too. So, uh, again, uh, part of the biggest category growth we have is power sports and sound bars in particular, um, but it does. It crosses over into the marine as well as a lot of those. Uh, the pods and the tower speakers, they cross over. People are putting those on the side-by-sides as well as the uh, tower speakers on boats. Hey, Doug, did, did you happen to have one of these sound bars with you that we could take a closer look at? I have one. I haven't taken it out of the pa package, but, you know, this so is let's just... Actually, if you don't mind, let's take a look at this package. It's a great opportunity to kind of... Let's zoom in yeah, on this, please. So the package here, this is the 17-inch uh, with LED lights. Uh, we have a 14-inch uh, model. We have an 18-inch model. Uh, and we usually have them both with and without uh, the LED lights. Uh, the mounting kind of changes on some of them. Some are more tucked, tucked up where it's a tighter fit uh, when there's less uh, headroom. So, but you'll see, you know, the packaging really, you know, it kind of, it's packaged as a power sport. Uh, but we feature it here, also available for Marine. And uh, kind of covers it, complete features on the back. Is it me or has there been a vast improvement on the packaging on these products? Oh, recently. Yeah, no, just the family look we have. Because if you look at that and then the marine package, just, you know, kind of the marine with the power pods. I, I would say, as a retailer, you know, this, the new, um, uh, theme that they've done, you know, identifying, you know, green with power sports and, and blue with boss and all that has really uh, uh, made a big difference. I mean, when you're putting them on the shelves, they act as silent salespeople in themselves. You know, you can see every, all the features that you want and everything is there, you know, cool logos mm -hmm. and, and uh, you know, they've done a really good job. So kudos to them for really stepping up their game and, and uh, improving the packaging and it, it's better than a brown box you know sometimes oh, you get stuff in a brown box with a, a model number on it and mm -hmm. who knows what's in it and what you what features you get so it's silly to say sometimes but it is a big you know it's a big part of the decision making process from a consumer right when they see it they immediately have that first initial reaction and that looks very very sharp i have to say and hey you know we're on board with color coding things right <laughs> look at just look at what we do with CMA. All right, let's get back to the presentation real quick. We got one more slide to go through, and then we love to, I love to have a discussion. Got a ton of questions to ask Doug. So uh, one more one more page in this presentation here, and it really just covers, um, I guess, accessories. So let's go ahead and put that presentation back up. All right, there it is. Yeah. So that's kind of where the product side uh, ends. Is just different types of accessories that for the marine the cubs uh there's more than just this there you know but these are kind of the primary ones that we just you know consistently sell they're all packaged in a more of a blister pack packaging as far as the antennas and the um ac adapters and the volume controls 
So just basic accessories that, you know, people may, you know, when you come to those CD players and mechless, it's a good idea to have one of those uh, weatherproof covers on them, uh, you know, just to, because they, you know, when there's open faces and the buttons like that, we always recommend these. So. All right. Very, very cool. Thank you so much for the presentation, Doug. Now, I've got some questions, as I'm sure Dave does as well, but I want to go back on, on a couple of things. So the first thing I, I've learned here, Doug, is this is a complete line. Like, it's not just a onesie or twosie. You have full solutions, right, from full range speakers to all, the, like, I'm very impressed with the depth and the width of the source unit selection from every shape, you know, every type, even CD. And I might say that might be the only CD one I know of left that's actually available on the market. You, if you got that old school customer, there you go. You have a you have a solution. Um, but even down to the accessories, as you finished with uh, Doug. So no, know that Boss Audio is providing a complete solution for your marine, you know, category. Okay. Right. Uh, the touchscreen I thought was really nifty. I haven't seen a lot of touchscreen marine source units full size like that. I'm wondering how does water uh, being on them affect the performance? Is that is that something to to keep in consideration when when selling a customer that that model? Well, again, most of the, the models we have that are touchscreen, they're all you know they're all watertight on the face and everything. So, again, I don't I think it, I don't know I haven't experienced myself of having wet hands and operating one. I don't, uh, but from I haven't heard of any complaints in terms of, okay. you know. Because, I mean, it's not new. There's there's graphs and chart plotters, which are full touch screen, yeah. and, and they perform well. So I was just curious if you had any experience with that. Because, like I said, in that segment, there's not a whole lot of offering that's a full-size touch screen for Marine. Right. So it makes that very unique as an offering. Um, also, the other question, I, uh, not question, but comment I want to make was the smaller size, whether um, the circle or the square, uh, in full color and touchscreen, yeah, I'm going to give more points to that because I don't know of another offering that offers that either. Yeah, there, there's a lot of basic ones, monochromatic screens, but not actual touchscreen and full color art uh, album art display. So if you're right. looking for that, and that that's an important, I mean, that's another selling point. I think makes makes the source yeah. units very unique. And those, yeah, those are newer models in our line that have just started uh, delivering over the last you know, six, eight months. Um, again, but we have those basic pieces also. Uh, but we are finding great success, especially like that five inch touchscreen model um, for, again, it's, you know, to operate it has the bigger icons, you know, easy as you're either driving the boat or side by side to be, you know, doing the controls. So it's been very popular. I, I can see that taking no. over, having more um, models within that type of, uh, you know, button arrangement, yeah. uh, because it definitely does make more sense. Uh, part of what's happening with that same concept of the larger buttons, and I touching on the power sports, it's mostly been around side by sides, ATVs, mm -hmm. but the motorcycle side of the business is is going, you know, growing. Uh, we have Harley kits, uh, you know, from 98 on up to 2013, from 2014 to 2020 or 2021. We have full cart Harley kits with, uh, with the head unit itself, plus all the fairing speakers, front, rear, and so forth. So that's becoming a big part of the business. This is too. arguably... <laughs> This is arguably one of the widest brands in the industry. Yeah. I mean, you guys make pretty much something for everything. But um, I wrote down here, uh, I thought it was a cool feature and the first I've heard. Can you can you talk to us about that PA feature one more time? It's the first time I've heard of that. Yeah, the amplifier, it's a four channel amplifier that also has a, a PA connector uh, through it that you connect the, it comes with the PA uh, microphone. So oh, it comes it with the microphone. Yeah, yeah, like a, a CB walkie-talkie oh, okay, sort of okay, CB okay, type right. of handheld mic. Yeah. yeah. So you'd be playing the music through it, and you know the guys out there wakeboarding behind the boat or whatever. But the, you know, someone, the captain, whoever driving the boat or passenger can say, "Ah, oh, come on, let's see some better, you know, right, mic right, right, mic. Right. let's see some better flips than that, you know, type deal, and talk, you know, so Very it's blaring out to them." So, and the nice thing about that particular mic system is, you know, when you engage it, it engages a high pass filter so ah. that the bass 
from your mm-hmm. voice isn't blowing up the speakers. You know, right. we've come across situations where guys have, uh, like, for example, tour boats have wanted to have some sort of system like that where oh. they're taking people out on the on the lake and they're, you know, they want to talk to people. So, yeah, yeah. you know, this Ferry is very rides or whatever. Yeah, totally. Cool product. Yeah, yeah very unique. Um, is there a uh, larger coaxial in the works? Because what I've noticed doing these marine sessions are some of the brands are starting to come up with these bigger um, mid-range coaxials, like in the seven and the eight-inch size. Is that in the plans? We have one model. It's a it's a seven inch, or actually seven and a half inch. Uh, it's our probably top of the line, and I didn't feature them in the um, in the presentation. But we have a six and a half inch and a seven and a half inch available. Ah, there that is a seven and a half. That the tweeter either can be left within the grill, or it can be separated and run more like a, a component system, where you'd have your the, the you know the cone speaker down below and the tweeter up a, up above. So we do have a couple higher end and that I, I would put them up against almost any higher end brand there is out there. We don't sell a ton of them. And I'm going to tell you a true story. One of my good, good friends that owns a stereo store said, Doug, I can't sell your, those speakers. I can't put them on my board. Cause if I do, I won't sell any JL audio. Mm-hmm. And, and I said, hey, I totally understand. JL is a great brand. You need to sell JL. It's good, you know, dollars for your store and so forth. But, you know, that's so we do have, you know, I mean, we have some pretty good product that uh, will compete right up there at the top. I love the confidence. That's great. And lucky, luckily for Dave, he sells them both. So he's got, he's, he's covered. Either way, we, he's got you covered. Um, uh, no, two he more questions. That one. He, took, he says he can't carry it. He <laughs> no. uh, two more questions for you. And I'll, I'll get Dave to maybe put a comment in there. The grills on the speakers and the sub, are those paintable? Um, because that seems to be a question are. that comes up often. I, I mean, they're all co- UV coated and so forth. I, okay. Again, I don't know. I'm not much, don't know about paint and what would stick and what wouldn't. Mm-hmm. I would think they are, but um, and there were two two types of grills, right? Basically, for the yeah. for the coaxials that we saw. Okay, fair yeah. enough. Um, we didn't get. I just want to ask warranty when it comes to this type of product. Is it different from the the rest of the line, or what? What is the deal with the warranty on? Uh, I guess on all the product range. Yeah, I mean it's it's a standard one year warranty on, okay. on it. You know, we part of our success overall is we've been we're very flexible. We work with our dealers, our distributors on product, you know, and and taking care of if it's still in our line. And even though someone bought it two years ago, but returned it to Dave's dealer, returned it to him. And it's still in our line because we have a tendency to keep things in our line a long time. We're still going to warranty it, you know, but overall standards one year, you know, um, we don't question a lot. We realize the atmosphere of the water on the marine product. So if it comes back and it's got water damage or whatever, we're still going to warranty it. Mm-hmm. And I would add that, you know, Boss has been extremely flexible with uh, taking care of a warranty. I mean, you know, um, stuff does break occasionally, but I mean, you know, if somebody's into something a year and a month or something, you know, or even longer, I, I've never had Boss, you know, contest that. and. You know, one more thing I'll add about the warranty situation is you're not waiting for your stuff to be repaired. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, you know, if something does break, we replace it with another unit. So oh, nice. the turnaround time is quite quick. Very, very good. That's it for me. I mean, that was a great presentation. I definitely learned a lot because, wow, the depth. Literally, I did not know it checked off that many boxes until right now today. Uh, Dave, did you have any other questions for Doug? We're just looking forward to those new CarPlay units, you know, for Marine. That's going to be really exciting because CarPlay has been extremely hot. So we'll look forward to when uh, we can offer that. But, you know, we're really excited with everything that uh, Boss has come up with. And, you know, they continue to to grind and reinvent uh, the wheel and, you know, push themselves, you know, to the next level. So it's been a great partnership so far. And, you know, we're just blowing up with Boss. And dealers are that have been apprehensive that have you know tried the product have been pleasantly surprised and repeat orders just keep coming and coming. So well, you know we'll that, makes out there, that makes Doug happy when he hears things like that. <laughs> and, and you know, Jemson has always put out the you know the boss challenge. We love 
people to try something out. And mm -hmm. if uh, it doesn't work well and, and we're full of it, you know, send it back to us and, you know, we'll take care of you. I mean, you know, there's nothing to risk. I love it. And I love it. Dave always reminds people of that. That's great. That's amazing. Doug, we're not going to keep you any longer. Thank you so much oh, for coming okay. in today and uh, sharing with us. The, a bunch uh, of these the little marine pliers. Oh, there you go. You send out to the dealers basically kind of just shows the categories and a few, you know, uh, models that are there, but it just gives them an idea and a quick little format of what Boss Marine is all about and, and what it offers. Well, hopefully that'll be right beside the giant Boss Marine audio display in the showroom. Right? There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot uh, today, uh, Doug. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Doug. All Take right. Care. Uh, no kidding. Seriously, though, that is a huge line. Like, I don't think people realize how wide if you pay attention to the today's show, like every checkbox, you know, boss, some people like chocolate. Some people like vanilla. Well, boss is like, well, some people like banana and some people like mint, mint chocolate chip, you know, they're going after every, you know, particular taste and they offer a huge selection because of that. And I'd be remiss to not mention again, they have done incredible work elevating the visual and image of their brand. I mean, just from the just that little pamphlet. Look, it's nice. It's well designed. The box, the pair, and the product. It just all matches. They've got some really great talent in their marketing team, and they've really mm -hmm. stepped up the game. Uh, even from digital assets, if you're a dealer, you know, getting things like high res images and even those promotional videos and and lifestyle type of things to do uh, to use on your social media campaigns. You know, the fact that they've got all this cool photography and imagery or whatever, you know, can really step up your game when you're trying to promote uh, your categories in your store. So just a final on that topic, you talk about dealer support. Um, any mention, like what about display programs, all that type of stuff? I mean, it looks like they, you, these guys are ready to roll. Yeah, Boss has got, you know, for some of their power sports products, they've got some display programs that are available based on uh, um, pre-buying a selection of product. Um, you know, we at one point in time, we offered some large, you know, fi store fixtures, wooden displays and that sort of stuff. And I believe that still may be available. But nowadays, guys are kind of compiling all their marine stuff into a centralized display. Uh, but one thing that Jensen does offer is we offer demo displays for our retailers. So anybody that is looking for, you know, product to put on their display boards or whatever, they can reach out to us. We give them uh, discounts on that. And uh uh, I know Boss is working on some other store fixtures that should be out soon. And as soon as we get that information, we'll put it out in the field. Amazing. Uh, you'll see down the bottom of the screen if you want to get a hold of Gemsen, if you're in, in the Canadian uh, area, area, I say area. If you're in Canada and you want to get some Boss audio stuff in your store and you want to be a dealer, make sure you get a hold of our good friends at Gemsen. Last word, Dave, sum it all up, you know, for the dealers to hear. If you've taken, if you've got to this end and you've watched this presentation, what message do you have for them about Boss Marine Audio. Well, Boss is an excellent value product that's got great performance. It's in stock. We're shipping, and it caters to people with every budget that's out there uh, and performance level that they're looking for. So certainly give it a try. Excellent. On that note, thank you kindly for joining us once again today, Dave. Thank you, Ben. Appreciate we'll it. We'll talk to you soon. Take care. Take care. And that is a great sum up of today's session. Uh, shout out to Doug Kern from Boss. Uh, joining us today, run, walking us through the entire marine lineup, a little bit of power sports as well. But I think the job is uh, is accomplished there. Check it out. Huge lineup, great value, and has, have really elevated their look and feel. So you know what? If you didn't look at it before, I would encourage you to take a closer look at it again. Uh, on that note, I want to remind everybody to continue watching CMA and stay close att attention to what we're doing. It's all about marine. We're doing the marine audio sessions. Uh, we're going straight till Wednesday, April 6th. Every day we feature a different brand. Today it's all about Boss Marine. And as you can see, the other brands that are partaking in our marine audio sessions. And of course, once that's done, then we're going to roll out into our next session, which will be Power Sports. More details on that soon. Um, lastly, make sure you visit our revamped website, cmanetworks.com, where you could find hundreds, literally hundreds of different videos on all your favorite brands. You can search for them either by brand um, or by category or even by trainer. Yes, by trainer. So check that out, CMA networks.com. On that note, I want to thank you again for joining us on today's session of CMA Connected presented by SiriusXM. I'm your host, Ben Wu. Until next time, we connect.
Yeah, there's time I'm going to go Yeah, roll it down. I am. You don't need a car to listen to Sirius XM. You can listen anywhere. You know that, right? What? Kevin Hart's left on the radio. Kevin, you could use your phone. What? What? Alexa, play Kevin Hart's Laugh Out Loud Radio on Sirius XM. What? This is how I know you're getting old. I guess that was it. What? <laughs>